been so long since I did this. I feel a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I know it has been a while since I posted a video on this channel, but I did just want to come on here and um, start with a little announcement. I'm very pregnant. There she is. That's right, I am 31 weeks pregnant. So excited. Coming up on the end of my pregnancy, I have a couple months left, which I can't believe I still have two more months of this. <laughs> Let me just say, pregnancy with a toddler, whole other thing. So if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll have already known this, but yes, I'm pregnant. We are having another baby girl and she is due April 29th. And we are so excited to be growing our family and to welcome another little baby into the group. So I really just wanted to come on here, film kind of a free flow, just talking to the camera video. I do have a couple talking points that I jotted down, but I just wanted to kind of re-say hello to the channel. I am going to be making um, videos on here again, just because honestly with my firstborn, I love having these videos to look back on the first few weeks with her coming home from the hospital. I do want to vlog this birth just because having that for my firstborn and just like having those memories captured and put in a nice video, I love having that. So I definitely want to do that with this second baby as well. So I thought we could just chat about this pregnancy, talk about why I've been gone, and um, yeah, let's just have a chat. And you'll have to excuse my voice. I have had this sinus infection for a couple weeks now and it's like been so long, I don't even, like I don't wanna go to the doctor and now get antibiotics. So if I can just like push through it without the antibiotics, that would be awesome, but it just like won't go away. So if I sound like this, I'm, yeah. That's why. Okay, so first things first, why have I been away? It has been over a year since I posted on this channel. And to be completely honest, I kind of fell out of love with vlogging and creating lifestyle content. And I'm kind of starting to like shift my focus on where I want to really be putting my time. Essentially, as my firstborn started getting older and moving into toddlerhood, she'd get really interested in the camera and I always felt like the camera was just being super obtrusive trying to film our daily lives. Not that I was vlogging daily, but even when if I pulled the camera out once a week, I felt like it was really just a nuisance. Being a stay-at-home mom and my husband having a stable job, I knew I was lucky enough to be able to explore different avenues, explore different things I'm interested in and try and build an online business and make money from home. So I knew there were all these different things I wanted to try like this channel. And if you saw my online income video, which I will link in the I card and down in the description where I talk about my different passive income streams, you'll see I am trying out lots of different things, um, trying to earn money from home. So this channel started out as a hobby, but it did also start um, as kind of one of those things where I thought maybe I can make some money from this and see if I enjoy creating content um, and doing that sort of thing. So I kind of realized vlogging and sharing our daily lives was not something that I really actually even enjoyed doing probably why I'm so bad at Instagram. <laughs> when I'm doing something with my family, I really like to be in the moment. I'm even bad at just like taking pictures. Something I do enjoy doing are sit down videos where I kind of share my either tips and tricks or my past experiences or products I'm enjoying. So you can expect um, videos like that moving forward. And I am going to vlog here and there, especially like I said, I wanna vlog this birth. I wanna vlog the early days with our new baby. And as my toddler was getting older, I realized I didn't want to be putting her online as much. I won't be not sharing my kids entirely, but I do think moving forward, I'm going to not be sharing their names. Um, you know, there are so many different opinions and thoughts on sharing kids online. I'm not going to get into it here, but I think what we feel comfortable with is just for now, we're just, we're not going to be sharing our kids' names. I have gone back in past videos and cut out bits where I have shared my firstborn's name and deleted comments that share her name and even on Instagram. So if you do know her name, just please don't like share it in the comments. We're just trying to make it so in the future, you know, if someone Googles their name or something, they're not going to be brought back to our channel and they can kind of have their own fresh slate online, if that makes sense. So I don't want the focus of this channel to be on my kids and showing my kids, but they will pop up here and there, of course. Um, I do want the content to be about my own experiences and myself 
and things that I'm passionate about. So let's go ahead and segue into what I've been up to since I've been gone. So like I said, if you watch that online income video, uh, I have been trying some different things. So my main source of income still is out school. So I am still teaching those three classes on out school and it's super passive because like I said in that video, I do have those set up as flexible schedule classes, which means it was a lot of front end work, but now essentially I just have to schedule out the posts each week and answer any questions uh, or comments that kids post in the classroom. So it's super passive and I'm making, um, two to 3000 bucks a month on those. So that is kind of what has been sustaining my other little projects and allowing me to branch out and try some other uh, ways of making an income from home. So since posting that online income video, I did try a couple of other ways of making money online. Like I started an Etsy shop, uh, like a print on demand Etsy shop where I would make designs and set it up with like a fulfillment website, like Printful or Printify. I can't remember which one I was using. Um, so when someone puts in an order and buys your design on a shirt, they would like ship it out. I did not love that because so much of it was out of my control and I would like get reviews like, oh, this print job is bad. And I'm like, that's not my, and then there was so much like customer service <laughs> that I would have to do that I really hated. So um, yeah, that was pretty short lived. From that though, in order to showcase the designs I was making on shirts and stuff, I was buying all of these different mock-ups from Etsy, from other creators, people who would like buy um, stock shirts in all these different colors and like take pictures of themselves in the shirts. And I was like, oh, that looks like fun. I actually, I downloaded, I use this app called Everbee and you can see what kind of sales different products are making, um, what products are like high search volume, but low competition, stuff like that on Etsy. It's really good for like Etsy research. Um, also another one I use is Marmalade. So I was noticing that these mock-up shops were actually kind of making bank. Um, so I thought maybe this was something I could get into and I got into that for a while and I was making some good money from that, but I honestly lost steam and it was something I wasn't super passionate about. Like I have a ton of t-shirts in my closet right now from like taking mock-up photos of t-shirts. And honestly it was like, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't love doing it. I was excited about it at first because I was like making money. Um, but I just really like, um, I did petered out. So like I said, I'm so grateful that I'm able to try out these different things and like find what I'm passionate about. Um, but those two things, yeah, just weren't it. So then I actually decided to turn back to my roots of what I went to school for. So I actually majored in art and um, like graphic design. So I kind of went back to those roots and I'm happy to say, I think I might have found my passion and what I actually really enjoy creating. And that is website templates. More specifically, I've started going into Squarespace website templates because I have a pretty big um, background in Squarespace and I love using Squarespace. I think Squarespace is an awesome website platform and using these tools like Marmalade and Everbee and doing just some market research on what is selling on Etsy and what's selling online and what has low competition. Like there aren't as many listings of uh, Squarespace website templates was one of them. And I remember I had purchased a Squarespace website template a while ago from someone. Just because at the time I was building my Hey Aaron Payne website, Squarespace had changed a lot from when I had used it last. And I didn't want to like jump through all these hoops to try and learn it. I thought it'd just be easier to buy a template that someone else had created. So I purchased a website template and this woman, she provided all of these like tutorials and really helpful videos. And um, she even had like social media templates that matched the Squarespace templates. And I was like, wow, this is so cool. This is so fun. And as I was going through and implementing the template, I was like, I could definitely make something like this. Like, and I was already making my own tweaks and all of that good stuff. But, and then a year later, I'm on Etsy trying to do some market research and I started just searching like Squarespace templates. And I realized it is a very uh, low volume, low competition, 
keyword that a lot of people are searching for and a lot of people are buying. So I was like, hey, maybe this is something I could get into. So I really started um, putting all of my focus into designing Squarespace templates. So I am really excited to announce to you guys, I have a kind of new brand that I'm working on. It's called Dreamy Vibe Designs. So the website is dreamyvibedesigns.com if you wanna check it out. It is live as of right now. I only have four website templates up right now, but I'm just like super passionate about it. And I have been working on this for so long and working on getting all the tutorials and the website going. Now I'm moving into the next stage where I'm going to start creating content to drive traffic to that website. So I am starting a new channel for Dreamy Vibe Designs. Um, it's already created. I just, I don't have any videos up there right now, but I am going to be creating content on working from home, creating an online presence um, through your website, Squarespace tips, tips on how to use the platform, design tips. I'm also planning planning on creating some like Canva templates to go along with the Squarespace templates for like social media. So design and that aspect, that's like really where my passion is. And I've realized it's what I really enjoy doing. Like I could sit and just like design website templates for hours, like, and just be totally happy. <laughs> So if you want to check out dreamyvibedesigns.com or follow on Instagram, dreamyvibedesigns, um, like I said, I haven't really started creating content for that yet, but if you wanna give me a follow, or if you are looking for an easy to use website template, you can definitely check out my shop. <laughs> okay, let's talk more about the baby and this pregnancy. So um, I jotted down a couple questions that people had asked me on Instagram and I thought I'd just kind of um, rapid fire here. So um, where are we trying to have a second baby? Yes, we were definitely trying to have a second baby. We knew from the start that we wanted to have at least two kids. We want our kids to have siblings. And our daughter is really at that age where she is just always itching to have someone to play with. Whenever we're at the park, she's always looking for someone to hold her hand, someone to play with. If she's not playing with someone else, she's, uh, I don't know, she gets antsy. She really wants to be playing with other kids at this age. And I know it's gonna be a little while until the next little Bubba is old enough to actually play with her, but I'm just so excited for them to have each other. I've also gotten questions about like, does our firstborn understand what's going on? Is she excited? So whenever I tell her that mama has a baby in her belly, she like, always tries to, uh, she like grabs my belly and says, baby stuck, baby stuck. So I don't know if she really gets it. Um, I think she does. I tell her that the baby's growing and mama's belly is growing um, and she is baby crazy. She loves babies. She's always trying to like boop their nose and I always have to tell her to like back up when someone has a baby and she's just loves her baby doll. So I think she's gonna be really excited but I know it's going to be a transition and I am really nervous about, I just remember those first few weeks where the, the nursing, the baby, it was just constant. Uh, like I couldn't put my firstborn down and I'm just worried with this one that, you know, my toddler is going to be just so mad at me. So I don't know. I, I know it's going to be a transition, but ultimately I'm really excited for them to have each other. I also have a little bit of footage from when we found out I was pregnant. So I was, tr we were trying to conceive for a couple months and I swear I thought I was pregnant every single month. And honestly, I think that's because my PMS symptoms are like the same as my early pregnancy symptoms. Like I would feel a little bit of breast tenderness and like some little crampy here and there. And I was like, I'm pregnant, that's it. And uh, for a couple months I was not. And then I was the third or fourth month where we finally got that positive pregnancy test. And this time is so funny. I was convinced that I wasn't pregnant because we had actually kind of stopped trying because we bought like theme park tickets. And I was like, well, I don't wanna be pregnant at the theme park. Um, so yeah, we literally did not try really at all. And then of course that was the month we got pregnant, of course. so i remember i took a test because i wanted to take some nyquil or something i was like really sick and uh, I took another one just in case because I had been taking them and they were negative. And then all of a sudden it was positive and I was so surprised um, and it was a really big shock. But Austin was right there. I told him right away, we were kind of like looking at it together and we were just, 
in such shock and so excited. And this pregnancy in general, the symptoms have been very similar to my first pregnancy. I know, I know a lot of women have like very different pregnancies, but I feel like mine has been very similar. So first trimester, I definitely had a lot of nausea, was so tired. I think there was two weeks where I just felt like a zombie. And I remember it was very apparent because those were like two weeks that both Austin's parents and my parents were out of town because usually I get um, some help from them during the week so that I can have like some work time. Um, but they were gone, so I had her all week, and I remember just lying on the couch, and just like with my first pregnancy, I didn't have any actual real, like, vomiting or really, like, sickness sickness, but I just felt constantly nauseous, and I would gag a lot. Like, if I smelled something that didn't sit well with my tummy, or if I tried to eat, like, scrambled eggs, which is just, like, the texture when I'm pregnant, I just can't do, uh, I would just, like, mm. so there was no, like, up chucking, but... Uh, yeah, a lot of gagging still and I don't know if it's because I've been running around chasing a toddler But I have felt more um, Tiredness definitely uh, And just exhausted and then of course there's the having to pee constantly in the beginning and now at the end and honestly Just always the second trimester was pretty smooth just like with my firstborn I guess I probably popped a little quicker. I know my body in general is just like slightly larger this is like a little more meat on it just from the previous pregnancy so I I don't know like I'm I just haven't been as invested in like taking bump shots this pregnancy so like I haven't been super on track with like comparing my belly size from this pregnancy to the previous one um, so honestly, I guess you could say I popped a little bit earlier. I'm not really sure. But now that I'm in my third trimester, I'm really starting to feel the difficulties of the big belly and trying to tote around a toddler. Like if I, even if I just have her on my hip, it's like a struggle cause my, I can't engage my abdominal muscles like I used to. So I just like, my belly starts to hurt. I can't really hold her on my lap because then my belly starts to hurt. <laughs> I'm already having Braxton Hicks contractions and my cervix already really hurts. And I don't remember that starting so soon last time. Like I remember that happening maybe in the last month, but I still have two months left and I'm already like having like contractions. So I'm worried this baby's gonna come early. Uh, so we've just been scrambling, trying to like get things together. Not that there's a lot we have to do because we have everything from our first baby <laughs> but I am going to be putting out another video soon I think it's going to be 10 items I've bought for baby number two that I wish I had the first time around uh, so be on the lookout for that video but yeah my firstborn her little jabbing knees and elbows in the belly it's just it's not great also the heartburn is real again just like with my first pregnancy I am also going to be putting out a video on my tried and true pregnancy must-haves that I've really solidified for the second pregnancy because let me just say I found something that has actually helped my heartburn. I thought Tums was the only solution. It is not. But I think I've rambled enough for this video. We've talked about what I've been up to. We talked about my new kind of Dreamy Vibe Designs brand, which if you guys are interested in seeing more content about like behind the scenes, like how I'm earning an income from home, let me know in the comments. I'm not sure if I would put that content on this channel or on the Dreamy Vibe Designs channel. I'm trying to kind of figure that out. But essentially, I want my main kind of business and my main income to be from Dreamy Vibe Designs. And I want this channel to really truly just be me creating content that I'm interested in creating content about. Um, sharing things about my life that I'm passionate about currently. Right now, of course, a lot of that has to do with motherhood because I am uh, a new mama still. And like I said, I do like sharing what has worked for us, the products we like using. So I am going to be creating content like that. The way YouTube channels like this one really make the bulk of their money is through like sponsorships and brand collaborations. And I really hated doing those. I mean, my channel is really small, so it's not like I was making big bucks <laughs> through um, sponsorships, but even just like sifting through my emails and like trying to find legitimate companies to work with that I would actually be passionate about working with, it's just like exhausting. And I don't love that I have to create a video where I talk about, you know, X, Y, and Z, and some of it's like out of my hands. I just don't love doing those. So I really just want this channel to be more of a backstage window into my life and having the dreamy vibe designs be the core um kind of money maker where i have the products and everything but if you guys want to see more behind the scenes of my work from home life definitely let me know in the comments 
and um, I think that would be something fun to share on this channel as well. Okay, with that, I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm really excited to be back and making more videos for you guys. Bye!